Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the loving and sweet name of Jesus Christ. Well, the topic for today's devotion, remember to take care of yourself. Sometimes you get so busy taking care of others, you forget that you are important too. Joyce Mayer. And also remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Our life, or rather our cup of life can be empty when we keep doing our own way, when we keep deciding our own way and not seeking His divine will instead. We all grew up in this world with full of strife and turmoil, arguing and bickering, with no peace at all, till we met the Prince of Peace. If you are a Christian, when I say Christian, I mean a born-again Christian, then our cup can never be empty. But we need to strive towards the fruit of the Spirit so that the world knows that we bear fruit and be a great blessing and overflowing in our lives. To be truly a blessing, we certainly cannot serve from an empty cup without the overflowing blessings of God's presence in our lives. These blessings must be visible to others at all times. His blessings of provision, His protection, His power, His grace and His mercies in our lives. Even if we work hard and have a very busy, tight schedule, still our cup of life can be empty. If we are filled with selfishness, lust, wrath, anger, evil speaking, hatred, putting down others, not able to digest success of others, losing patience as often as a little child falters and falls. But our cup can never be empty when our lives are truly rooted with this divine word in Agape love, gentleness, meekness, kindness, goodness, long-suffering, patience, temperance and praying for those who hate and malign us, loving people who persecute us. These godly traits on us will then fill our cup with overflowing blessings. Whoever it might be, take care of yourself first that your life is blessed and filled with its rich blessings in your own personal life first. As we cannot pour anything from an empty cup, so it's primarily important that we be strong ourselves and ensure our life is not empty but always filled and is overflowing with divine God's blessings so that it touches the hearts of the people. One way of filling it up is by being a role model as a father, mother, as a husband, wife, brother, sister, pastor, leader, evangelist, and not to forget to be a disciple of Christ. The world knows whether we are fruitful or not. We need to not only invest in meditating on the Word of God, but enjoy to apply it in our lives. Let's ensure our life is overflowing with His divine blessings like how Daniel and Joseph were blessed because of their obedience and faithfulness. And they were a great blessing because they were blessed. Help us Lord to imbibe such divine qualities in our lives so that blessings of joy, peace and happiness might overflow and run over in our lives to bless others. In Jesus' sweet and marvelous name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.